All right, and welcome back to episode three of the raid series. Now, we had a really good raid, a uh, couple raids last episode, and uh, we are going to go back into another. Um, I think I might do one more scav run of interchange, and then we'll go into going back to the PMC. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to bolster up that amount of uh, that loot and money that we have at the start, because we're currently sitting a little bit poor for what I would like. We are halfway to level four, which is nice. Um, but if we can get, say, a couple of elite pliers on a scav run, uh, on interchange, it's going to be a lot a lot better for us in the long term. Uh, no risk going in there. We can check all the elite plier spawns, check for some fuel, get out, and then we can really uh, push forward in some of the progressions. So uh, let's get into a scav run on interchange, and then we'll uh, focus again on the PMC. <music> So we're in. Um, we are now located near Goshen. Oh my god, we spawned with the fuel. Oh, let's, we're going to go to the back of Goshen, look for elite pliers. I'm 16 minutes left, so there's not a large amount of time left. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back of Goshen, look for elite pliers. We'll go around the back, uh, all the toolboxes and all that. And I think we'll probably end up getting towards the railway, uh, if possible. Um, a little bit longer going that way, but... I think we can cover more toolboxes, more chances for elite pliers. Still taking it nice and slow. I'm actually going to cut across to the side here where there's um, car battery spawns. Not that we have room to pick up a car battery. Do we do? We can put that there. There. Cool. So if we do see a car battery, we can pick it up. They spawn along these shelves here. It looks like a spark plug. Nope. Bandage. We'll take the bandage for now. So this shelf, and then on the other side is the car batteries. This door on the left is open. Yep, so someone's already been through here. So if there was a car battery, it's probably already been looted. I'm going to shut that door. Now, um, we're going to be watching out to the right-hand side here. And we don't need to go any further that way. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go along this whole back, back side and uh, all the way past... Goshen past uh, a deer on the other side, and then we'll get, hopefully, we might go down to a uh, power station and try and get ourselves stuff down there too. So, there are a lot of toolboxes to check. We're going to check as many as we can. If we get two elite pliers, we are going to be just sprinting straight for the extract. I'd almost be tempted to do it after one, finding one, but... Oh, scab down the far end there. It was very quickly went past. We're just going to be grabbing a little bit of everything first. Um, and then we'll start throwing stuff after that. Those shots sounded like idea, so we've got to be a little bit careful when we get over there. You would always be careful, but you, get, you guys know what I mean. More cautious, more alert. That fuel pretty much gave us guarantee it's the laywers, so. Take it nice and slow. We'll keep, keep moving down the back here. Checking for any spawns. Don't need that screwdriver. I don't think that screwdriver is used for anything at all. Now, this is a little bit different to my usual play style. So, um, what I usually do is sprint everywhere. So, <laughs> it's it's actually really, really good for me. Um, that door starts closed. So, someone's been through here. To our advantage, most people don't go check this toolbox down the back. Um, yeah, so most people are... Sorry, it's, it's actually good to put yourself out of your comfort zone and play in different play styles. So, then you can actually improve for yourself that way so <laughs> duffel bag in here
Now coming out here. Um, there is a fair few spots that we could actually find stuff around the back here, around, around the back of Idea. Once we finish at the back of Idea, I'll probably head down to the power station, and then from there, we're going to hug the wall all the way to the extract. When you're new to Tarkov, I'd highly suggest um, just learning your way around mats by just hugging the outside walls. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, but also learning what's around those walls as well. So, for example, coming around the back of, of the, the mall like I am here, you can actually make a lot of money and uh, progress as an elite player. So that's a big win. Uh, and you can actually progress quite well by doing doing this. So, grab the that screw. Oops. Wow, they, they just came out of nowhere. Damn, that sucks. We lost the fuel and the elite pliers then. There is no way they were going to let me live. I think they were players' calves, but they were they were coming in hot. We had nowhere to go. Seven shots didn't even hit them. Uh, it is what it is. Like I said, I didn't hear them. All of a sudden, they're on top of us. So it was getting quite late in the raid. I'm surprised there was still people around, you know, trolling around the back there. Probably had a similar tactic to what I had, was which was to get, get the loot and, and that. Now with this, um, I'm actually going to not... Actually, I'll take the backpack. So my strategy with this run is to go and interchange again, but I'm actually not going to... The main plan will be probably not to extract via uh, one of the main extracts. I'm going to go out to uh, one of the ones where you, you, you can extract using your backpack instead, without a backpack instead, uh, which is a guaranteed safe way of extracting in my opinion. And we've loaded this one up with good ammo, and I'm going to take that as backup ammo, and I'm going to take that as a heal. And uh, go from here. Let's see how we go. All right, we are in. Now, um, from this spawn, I'm going to move a little bit quicker than normal. Um, and just uh, get straight down the edge towards the power station. Pretty much the same tactic as the previous raid with the scav run. I just kind of want to um, avoid the, the middle of the map. I'm going to go around the side. Power station does have a lot of uh, action to go down. Um, but it's worth it, worth heading that way for the loot that can potentially spawn there. Might check the hidden stash over here real quick. Now there's a spawn just over by this tower, um, and then there's the spawn down the power station. If we, they're the main two threats right now, and we're going to keep an eye looking down down that way. Um, Now that grenade that went off, it was uh, along the road, along the main center. There's a couple of spawns down there. Um, they're not really something I want to pay attention to right now. No, the fact that there's someone over there, but because I'm not heading that way, I don't interest too much about that. As we head down here, um, the spawn's pretty much about here. About here, and then they, most people would either run straight down to the power station or into the mall. My strategy with interchange is actually not be outside. It's, it's usually get inside or underground and then um, fight that from there. Outside of interchange is actually really difficult to actually fight a lot of the time. I think I just heard a shot at the uh, power station. That. Could have been maybe on someone under there. Being back at the scav. Hmm. Now inside this uh, bus right here spawns the Ollie register key. Um, it's not really a key ne you need to worry about loot. Looting anymore. 
definitely heard another noise then. Um, because you get it actually from a quest. I'm pretty sure from Jaeger later on. And, um, registers just aren't worth the money that they used to be. Cash spawns in them. Hmm. So... Trying to stick to the shadow. This is going to be a really hard push if there's someone up on the high ground. So it sounds like potentially an SKS. Someone with an SKS. That's a dead scav or player on the road. We go behind here. I just don't like the fact that I've, I've got no cover. Hmm, I got no real cover from anywhere. I want to get down there. Got more than one. I don't know if you can hear me. From here. Ah! Yep. It was there. You definitely could hear me then. If you had contacts. They did something to, to um, crouch movement. Where you were just really loud now. Like, back last uh, wipe. You could creep like that. And you could almost walk up on top of someone. And they, they would never know you are there. And we just lost. We just lost. Chunk. Uh, gear. I really I would really like to get a good money run happening, but it's just what cost. Um, we could tank the Keta here. I think we're just going to do a Grouch. We can leave this PSMO behind. Um, we're going to go in interchange again, and we're going to try and just get inside them all. Once we're inside, grab some gear, kill some scavs, get some loot, and get out. Not mess about too much. Um... I just think that's going to be the safest option. That whole creeping thing is actually like made, it, made Tarkov playing slow actually a lot more difficult. I'm not really sure. But playing slower, um, that guy knew exactly where I was. If he had contacts on, that's totally fair. If he had no contacts on and he heard me all that time, like I was barely moving. I was super loud. So it's what it is. Um, the other option is we try and go into customs and go around the edges. I don't really want to just tour a full playthrough where I'm just hiding around, around edges and corners and stuff. Um, the other option, actually this is probably a solid one, is we buy an SKS. We buy an SKS? They change. We can. We could buy an SKS with some PSMO. Let's do that. Get some good taps on that. Let's just get 30 rounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, you can put these straight into the pocket and you can top you can top load an SKS. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell I think they'll have to go to put enough money to ensure that's all. Get rid of those PS rounds. Right, let's go again. Much. We sell. These trade for an AKM, but we sell them. All 
All right, let's go. All right, so we might go through the strategy of what I said before about charging in and um, getting inside. Now, I don't really like this spawn at all because there's spawns over there and to the left, there's spawns down the, uh, the road to our right. But what we can do is we can get inside this front bit fence here, turn right, and then go straight to the back of Goshen. From there, we can try and find those elite plies that we are talking about and all the other good stuff. Alternatively, we could go up the ramp on the left here, which is the more risky move. I'm probably going to regret and uh, might be lucky enough to get ourselves... I just heard someone. Might be able to find ourselves a fuel. Alright. I'm gonna grab a fuel and then get away from this map uh, from this area of the map. So the first fuel we find we bug out. Now, it was shooting just to the right. We also have to find a blue fuel. The other fuel is too big. There's one. Right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to be sucky to lose all these meds, but that makes us meds. Now, what we're going to do is going to go to Goshen and look for those elite pliers. There's a man down the back. Now, if you're after flash drives, these computers in these rooms, what you should be looking for. really depends on what we want to achieve. We could turn this into a 10 minute run. Just grab whatever items we can to make some cash. Head towards the, the no backpack extract. And then bug out. That WD um, 4100 mil is not really a uh, high priority. It's required for a uh, peacekeeper quest, but it's like a really late peacekeeper quest. Lots of shooting. Just checking up there in case someone's in that spot right there for a uh, shooter born in the heaven. I'm almost tempted to do that, hey, just get that fuel out of here. We do a bit of a quick loot run, grab what we need, make a little bit of money. That door's closed now. That's closed, so. Um, and the, that scavrator one was open. We knew someone had walked through it.
constantly scanning for enemies. I am a little bit low because if you have it high, I feel like the gun kind of distracts your point of view. Whereas a lot of other games, the gun position's quite lower. Oh, there's a player there. <laughs> Fuck. We have to run. Gonna bandage this by pressing uh, five. Fix the arm. But we have an option here. It extracts right there, but it will count as a run through if we take it. I feel I feel like it's worth it. None of the items we would need to sell on the flea market. And nearly all the items we need for craft crafting all the hideout. I know this is a bit of a cheeky move, but we're going to do a short run now. And we can get back into another raid nice and quick. Um, there's another fuel there. Anywhere we can pick it up. Oh. Bit of a cheeky run, but I really want to get that uh, fuel out, the Salewa out, and then uh, we can progress from there. Um, I don't believe that will be a non, just a normal survive run. I don't like to do run-throughs at all, but it is what it is sometimes. We didn't kill anything. Didn't really loot too much. Need 600 XP or a uh, has to be a uh, completed. Uh, sorry, 10 minutes inside the raid. So probably could have gone like another two. Two, three minutes just hit hiding. But if those players were chasing me down, then we're in that that pickle that we're going to, you know, get stepped on. So, not ideal. Uh, we, our scav rate is back up. So, we might actually take advantage of that. Um, slowly building up that, that really the money and, and what we need for the raids. Now, we're going to have to get some cash flow up um, purely for the fact that we have... Um, for the fact that we have uh what do you call it to we'll do some upgrades in our hideout to get that fuel cranking so what i'm gonna do is we need how much money we need so we need security level one and then we can get generator we need a hundred thousand rubles for so um med station can't work without the generator on and to get the generator on we need obviously to make it so we need a hundred thousand rubles if we sold that and the Keta, I don't think we're going to have enough. So if we disassembled. Let me pull that apart. All these ones. Was it only at 50,000? Hmm. Interesting. Um, what would we have to sell? There's 16,000 there. I don't really want to sell anything. I think we're just going to have to do a scav run. I was wrong in, the in episode one as well. We don't actually need that key for a quest. I think we'll just do a scav run. And uh, we'll go from there. But if we really wanted to, I could probably sell some stuff. Maybe the key, helmet. Oh, we could sell back to Ragman um, the helmet. The two helmets and a key. Let's just do that. And then um, therapist. Go two of them. Now we can get the get generator. We can put the fuel in. We should fuel only last uh, 14 hours. Now with the... Uh, we need a painkiller. We need to make sure we've got enough money for a painkiller. Which we need 4,000. We'll sell one of them. We're going to buy a painkiller. Like me living on the edge. And now we can start the craft. Now what I'm going to do though. As soon as it starts. I'm going to turn the generator off. Now it's going to take two and a half hours, but that's fine. 
Uh, won't use any fuel now. You just have to have the generator on to start the craft and then it goes a lot slower. So we just leave it like that for now. And now we're going to go back into interchange and we're trying, trying to make some money. Actually, let's have a think about it. We go interchange. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to go factory. I'm going to take as much time as I can to take it slower. And we're going to try and grab a heap of loot. Hopefully two guns. If we can get two one three three shotguns, then we've also progressed as well. Uh, if we can get a 3M armor or something like that, it would be really, really helpful. So um, that's the aim. Um, we'll see how we go. Bit of a risk, but have some fun. About having fun. Now, Factory is one of those maps where when you scav into, no one's, no one's on your side. It's a sh shocking map. Kind of deja vu a bit, isn't it? So, it's hard for me to commentate exactly what I'm doing, but what I'm doing is cover covering corners, taking it a bit nice and slow. We've got to move quick. That guy's geared. We want to be fighting from our, our position if we can. I have no rear sight, so I have no idea where I'm hitting. You surprised? Ah! We got him. We got him. I need to, I need to figure out what the hell guns does he have, what ammo does he have? This is all over the shop. All right, so our extracts are going to be the main extracts and probably red blinker or a monkey door, yeah, or red blinker. This is a massive win if we can survive it. He looks good too. I don't want to take our time if we can. These mags aren't going to be overly useful to us. But the ammo can be all right. Here's two juicy H. A lot of ADAR ammo. Yeah. That Yushanka we can use for a quest. Because it's no use to us. Well, 
that's an SVD. Helmet's in better shape too. That's the label. Free ammo if we need for a quest. Wow, so much stuff going on. Everyone would be saying greed right now too. Really should just get out. Check both sides before we push out. This is camera bunker door. Oh we That's a big one. That is a big one. So we got 3M armor. We need for the quest for gear. Let's take a little bit to get us out of this raid. But 3M armor. We got more fuel. Yushanka was used for a ragman quest. We've got a lot of guns. All right, we've got a, uh, a couple of guns. The SVD, whilst we do need it for a quest later, and it is a really powerful gun, I'm most likely going to sell that. Um, that is going to be really, really good for making a bit of money, but I will strip it apart first. Uh, I want that sight. I'll take the ammo. The armor is going to be really helpful for a quest or two. And this is where scav runs, particularly on factory, can be really uh, profitable, but also very, very risky. Um, that ADAR, we can actually just use that as a, a gun. M4 ammo slash ADAR slash 556 ammo. It's it's not always the best. Um, the way I'm going to do this backpack is I'm literally just going to chuck the whole backpack in like that for now. Meds, we'll just chuck these all on the side. Um, massive win. Massive win. What's the labels too? So that's that's a win as well. Ammo, can go up the top for now. We've got some mags. There, and a big rig for when we go into our next map to do more loot runs and and progress that way as a really big really big one um it's a nice clean shot we got on his helmet or his face um psmo that was why i was talking about using an sks um we'll go through most class three helmets which was uh the s6b 47 helmet that we shot through uh it's the exact same as this helmet a class three helmet um ps762 by 39 very powerful rain uh, ammo for helmet uh, shooting helmets um, it's not too bad for armor. It will get through packers nicely and um, something like this. Not too bad at all. Uh, anything class 3. Class 4, it starts to struggle. Um, but at this stage of the wipe, those lower classes, uh, you're going to find a lot more opportunity to get that stuff. Now, when it comes to the labels, we don't need to hand them in yet. Uh, we've still got to craft the other one. We are going to strip the shit out of that uh, that SVD. I do want that sight, though, for future guns. That's uh, a really nice sight to have. Um, and I want to take out that mag ammo. Um, the rest of that gun will probably get assembled. Sell that money. I'm going to sell all that. It's just a little bit more cash. We are running a little bit poor. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit to get it up. Um, to survive a few more raids, get that up to our level, level 10, and then we'll be laughing. Um, we still do need to get the elite pliers, but that's all right. Uh, dog tanks for now, we're just going to sell them to therapist. And this armor, we're going to need to hand into ski out. So we'll hold on to that. The Yashanka is required for a quest. So we'll put that down the bottom there. Um, we now have got some extra backpacks. So sell all these dog tanks to the therapist. Good way to make some money nice and early. Um, and then that fuel can also go into the generator. You can just have them sit. So that will save us space in the hideout. Now, if we um, wanted to blow the rest of our cash, we could upgrade these things, but there's no real requirement to do just yet. Um, 2,000 rubles, nothing. But, um, being able to craft some of this stuff will be really helpful later on. 
So, you know, having that ability now, well, having that ability is actually quite nice. So the focus with the hideout is actually gonna be med station, nutrition, um, the laboratory and the workbench. They're gonna be the, the main priorities. And then we'll also get the uh, intelligence center. Once we get the security to vent to, uh, intelligence center is really good for crafting some of the, the tech items that are required for some of the later tasks that are really annoying to try and find and survive the raid. As for this raid though, this episode, that is pretty much it. Um, couple of scav runs and a, and a PMC run. Uh, well, two PMC runs, I think. And we got a little bit ups, uh, unlucky with one of them, but that's, that's just how it is sometimes. I hope you guys enjoy this. I know some people are going to be by now already asking. We want longer episodes, but they are very time consuming to make, edit, and put up on YouTube. Um, but hopefully you guys have been enjoying it and you haven't been sharing it with other people or letting them know about it. If they're into Tarkov, hopefully you guys have been learning some, something and getting some enjoyment and entertainment out of it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't liked the button, uh, press the like button by now. Get used to doing it for every YouTube video you ever enjoy or you want to support that creator. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, subscribe for future content and you haven't already hit the notifi notification bell. These episodes are coming out 10 p.m. CEST every single day, uh, Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday is the days off though. And um, yeah, lastly guys, I'll see you next time.